So welcome to another edition of our challenge, our 30 day challenge on grammatical names and functions. So this is the third day. So here we're taking a look at another question on why. So let's get started. So let's take a look at the expression. We have the teacher raised an instant alarm. The teacher raised an instant alarm. And the underlying expression here is an instant alarm. So our duty is to look for the grammatical name and function. So the first thing we take a look at is that the expression here starts with an. And an is an article which falls under what? Determiners. And all the determiners in English language apart from articles are quantifiers, demonstratives, numerals, and what? Processives. So once an expression starts with any of this, then it automatically tells you that it's a noun phrase. That was one of the easiest ways to identify a noun phrase. Now, you can tell anybody I tell you, I say that one of the easiest ways to identify a noun phrase is through the determinants. Okay? Then another way you can identify a noun phrase is the head word. So the head word here is what? Alarm. The head word of a noun phrase must be a what? A noun. That's another way you can identify a noun phrase. But the easiest way is the determinant. Most Noun phrases come with determinants. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have other noun phrases that do not have determinants. Yes, we definitely have, but like 95% of noun phrases we have around the, 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 often, the often frequently ones are the ones that come with what? With determinants. So, this makes the underlying expression a what? A noun phrase. It makes it a noun phrase. Now, we're done with that. Let's move on to the grammatical function. Now, for noun phrases, we don't talk about it qualifies or it modifies. What we talk about when it comes to noun phrases are subject of the verb, object of the verb, complement, subject complement, object complement, opposition to the noun, and so on and so forth. Okay, so what we have here is an instant alarm. The teacher raised an instant alarm. So the teacher here is the subject because the one carrying out the action. And raised here is the verb. Okay? So what received the action performed by the teacher? An instant alarm. So this expression is what is an object. It's an object. Object of what? Object of this verb. It's as simple as that. So we have object of the verb raised so here you have it the answer here is now phrase and the grammatical function is object of the verb raised so thanks for watching until i see you next time stay connected with our full learning english bye